Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying out for you each of the new products from the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Collection. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on them, then just keep watching. So I'm actually getting ready right now to go out to dinner for the first time in months and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to play with my new Patrick Ta things. If you didn't know, he came out with a new collection called the Major Headlines Collection. It is currently available right now on Sephora and the Patrick Ta website itself. So he came out with three different products, two of which are completely new to his line. We have the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo and then we have a matte suede lipstick and then this product already exists but he did release new colors and this is the Precision lip crown. We're going to get into each item individually. So I do want to start off with the blush because I think this is what most people were excited about. So this is $34. It comes in four finishes. And my first impression of this collection was that it was colors that were going to be too deep for me or for the lips especially. Just the colors were too dark and bright. He had like red colors, a berry color, and just colors that I wouldn't wear on a daily basis. So I only got colors that I thought I would wear. The blush shades all looked really deep online and the swatches as well. So I picked up a pink shade which I thought would match my color now. Now thanks to YouTube of course after seeing all of the reviews it does seem that the colors will work for my skin tone. Just from what I can tell they definitely appear lighter in person than they do online so that might be something to keep in mind. I did only end up going for She's That Girl and this is supposed to be a soft pink. They also have a coral color, a plum color, which that one I think is definitely more for deeper complexions, and then a bronzed nude. That one I didn't think would work for me, but honestly, after seeing other reviews, I do think that one would work for me. She's that girl. I love a pink cheek, so I had to get it. So the packaging is beautiful mirrored packaging, which is really hard for product shots. I couldn't get a good one, and it took me a while to figure out how to open this. It kind of has Tom Ford packaging, but it it's clipped in really hard so I had to pull it and then you have the two products and you guys see how cute she is untouched this is a complete first impression so we have the pink blush and then I love when products have a screen so that the powder doesn't get into the cream product I have one other blush from Patrick Ta this is she sincere and I was a little bit skeptical about this product because I'm not the biggest fan of his powder blush line I think they're okay they get the job done but for me they take a little bit too much building up for my preferences so I did hear that the formula of the powder is more pigmented so we'll see about that but as you can see from She's Sincere this one is much more bright yeah so this color does seem to have more pigmentation than the She's Sincere and then let me get into the cream it feels nice and creamy and it does not seem to be too pigmented it, it does seem pretty sheer so the one with the extra shine is going to be the cream if you watch Patrick Tullis tutorial on YouTube he actually suggests that you put the powder down first and then you put the cream on top. That definitely goes against the grain of everything you've probably learned about makeup. They say you definitely want to put creams down first and then powders on top to set. I don't know the science behind why he said to put the powder down first other than he said it lays down a base. I'm gonna do the powder down first on one side and the cream down first on the other. So let's just try it. I'm using this old Trish McAvoy brush and I'm just gonna go into the powder and I'm not getting a lot of like fallout or anything from it. Ooh, that deposits literally the perfect amount of pigment. So this is definitely more pigmented than that original formula or I don't know if it's the color but I'm not complaining about the pigmentation here. And it's a really beautiful blush. I do have a slight sheen to my face. I am wearing a tinted moisturizer so that could play a role in it being slightly more glowy but there is a slight sheen. It's a matte blush but it's not mattifying my face. So that glow is peeking through, which is a really nice thing to look for in a blush formula. That's really pretty. Now I'm going to try the cream blush first. And I always like to apply cream blush with a sponge. I'm using this Kaleido sponge. And I love how this is not depositing too much color. It is a sheer formula, but it is building up as well. I did do a double dip and it has added more. My hair is all up in the way. Here's a closer look 
so that you can see. I love how blended and natural this looks in the cheek. This is why I love cream blushes, where of course the powder is really nice as well, but there is something a little bit more natural about a cream blush. But I love this cream blush all on its own. It's a little bit tacky on the face. If you don't want to, you do not have to layer these. You are fine just having a powder option and a cream option, depending on your preferences. I am going to layer since that's what is recommended just to try this product out but don't feel obligated to do so so we are going to put the cream on top this is kind of the non-traditional way and this is going to build up the pigmentation to even brighter than i probably wanted i'm going to put some on my nose and this is a good cream formula it's not disturbing the powders underneath it's not a thick formula it's those thicker cream formulas that are really going to have a hard time over powders but if you use a sponge 99% of the time you won't notice too much of an issue, especially if it's a nice lightweight formula like this. He has a very good cream formula here and that did add a little bit of a sheen and then I'm gonna put the powder on top on this side to see if maybe it creates a more mattified look. I mean, both sides look equally as pretty. I do think maybe this side is a little bit more matted down because it has the powder on top, but you can apply any way that you want. Honestly, I'm leaning towards the cream product first because I feel like it really blends the color in and then putting the powder on top is going to make that color last longer. So I think it looks more natural if you put the cream down first. It blends into the skin better. It does look good with the cream on top as well. And I'm going to imagine if you want more of that cream finish but you still want it to last longer you might want to put the powder down first I don't know if scientifically that can be proven that it's gonna make it last longer but that would kind of be my theory behind it I don't think you're limited to use this in any way that you want do whatever you want you could use only the powder if you want only the cream if you want you could layer however you want in whatever order I I think the product is good overall and it's going to work for you. And that is what makes a good product a good product. It works however you wanna use it. I actually am really liking the blush duo. I think it's very good. I think it's a step up from his regular powder blushes and it looks gorgeous on the cheek. And for $34 for getting two different options, I actually think that's a good deal. And if I wasn't on a low buy, I would definitely go back and purchase more because I think she's really cute. So let's move on to the lip products. The lip colors are different from the blush colors name-wise. You actually have the lip liner and lipstick duo with the same name. Of course, you're not limited to purchasing those, but I did want to buy matching products. So I ended up going with the nude color, of course, because I'm boring. And I got Oshi Single, which is a neutral nude. There's also like a hot red orange, a red shade, and then a really deep eggplant berry shade. I don't like the pack packaging of these because once you push it up, you can't put the product back down, so beware of that. But I actually really enjoy these lip pencils a lot. Take a look at the shape. I find it very easy to maneuver on the lips. The formula is a bit dry, but it's nothing crazy. I have no problems putting just the lip liner all over my lips with maybe a little gloss on top and it's fine. So I'm going to compare the color that I have from previous launches. So this is She's Proud. This is an old color. It's kind of like a muted nude pink. I'm going to compare it to this new color, which is Oh She's Single. And this is oh a lot deeper and a lot more brown. So this is Oh She's Single and this is She's Proud. So this is definitely a lot deeper. All of the lip colors, very bold in this line. So I'm going to put this on. This is not going to go with my blush. The She's So LA blush duo is what's going to go best with this lip combo, but I just love pink blush. I had to get that one. Even though I said this formula is a little drying, it's actually kind of not. Like, it's a lip liner, so naturally it's drying, but it's applying really smooth to the lips. And like I said, I really enjoy the shape of this. Very nice. If you like browns, you really might like this a lot. If I forgot to mention this, this is $26, by the way. I think it's a very good product. I don't think these are necessarily worth the price because $26 is a lot for a lip liner when ColourPop has a great selection. But I do enjoy just the really mirrored packaging, the experience of it all. So obviously, I do think it's worth it since I did purchase another one, but in the grand scheme of things, you don't need it. And let's move on to the matte suede lipstick. I feel like this was an interesting time to come out with a matte lipstick given that it's summer. This is $32, so not a cheap lipstick. She's 
slightly competitive with some luxury babies. $32, the same exact colors as the lip liners, so I got the corresponding Oshi single. I must say, the packaging on these are exquisite. I want more, just so aesthetic-y, really gorgeous, really simple. It's a class, not a magnet, which if we had a magnet, then it would totally be luxe. It has that velvet finish. This is a fresh, untouched lipstick. Really gorgeous, so let's uh, put her on. Nice formula. Out of curiosity, where is this made in? Made in the USA. I was curious if it was going to be an Italian formula. The blush and the lipstick are made in the USA and then the lip liner is actually made in South Korea. That's really pretty, I love this lip duo. This is my kind of lip color. I really like that, I wish my cheeks weren't so bright. I mean, it's a matte formula, so it's a little bit drying, like I would like a gloss on top, but the color is very, very nice. So it was a nice, smooth application. It's not as smooth as, say, Charlotte Tilbury or Gucci by any means, but it's a good solid lipstick formula. I mean, it's a lipstick. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna back out and kind of give you all my final thoughts. So I do really enjoy how everything is looking right now. I think this blush duo is probably the best product that I've personally experienced from his line. I really like this. I think he has a very solid formula. I liked the powder blush and I thought that the cream formula was very beautiful. It was just sheer enough, but just pigmented enough. It blended out onto the cheek with ease. And I like having the option of doing cream and powder or doing cream or powder. So I think these are definitely worth it. I am very interested in picking up a couple other shades. As far as the lip liner goes, I think he has a very nice lip liner formula. It applies very smooth if you like any of the colors. I'm not gonna tell you not to get it because they are good. I spend a lot of money on makeup so I have no room to say this, but you're not missing out on anything if you don't pick these up because they aren't super unique colors or super unique formula, but it's a well-rounded, nice lip liner and I like the shape of it. So I do enjoy it and I like the color that I got. It's gonna go with a lot of other colors that I have in my collection. And then the lipstick, what is really taking me to a happy place is this packaging. I think the packaging is just gorgeous and I don't think the lipstick is anything special. $32, that's your call. I do like the color a lot. I'm not in love with the other colors that he currently has, so I won't be picking any more up. However, if he comes out with more colors that I like and I see myself actually wearing a lot, I definitely would consider purchasing more. So everything he came out with for this launch, really good. Take a look, see if there's a color that you like. Definitely gets my stamp of approval. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love if you would take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.